what we're going over is the offense and defense from the guillotine, the guillotine, depends where you are. But anyway, it's the front choke. So a lot of times it will happen in a, in a fight or even submission tournament, whatever. Somebody shoots a lazy double leg. And when you shoot a double leg, you want to bend at the legs. You want to bend at the knees. You don't want to bend at the hips. What happens when that happen, what happens if you bend at the hips, it leaves that head exposed for the front choke. So what will happen is if my, if my opponent shoots, and he's gonna, he leans that head in, so I'm gonna trap it with this front arm. Now, in order for me to finish this choke, my hips have to be close to his hips. So, whatever side the head is on, I have to get close with that same hip. So once again, he shoots that double. Now, my hip has to be inside there, <coughs> and, then, and then you only end up finishing the choke. But, if my hip's far, if I'm here and I'm trying to finish that choke from here, you're not gonna get it. Or at least if this guy is any good or if he has a set, but if he's tough, then you're not gonna finish it one more time. So this way I won't finish the choke, but this way, if I get that, I want that foot in, in between his, that hip close, I'll finish it, okay? So that's how you're gonna set it up to finish the choke. Now, defense on that. So say if I shoot this choke or if I shoot the shot and he touches me, like I need my hips far away from him. So what I'm gonna do with my inside hand, I'm gonna make a bowl. I'm gonna cut the top of his knee and push. My other arm, I'm gonna go around with this hand, with this hand and pull. So I'm gonna push and pull and I keep my, my hips away. My hips are so far away that he can't, and now I have him leaning on top of me. So the choke won't be effective. It'll be a little uncomfortable, but you won't get choked out. So I'm gonna do that one more time. So you're gonna push above the knee, and that one you're gonna reach for his wallet and pull him down. This one pulls, this one pushes. So I take a shot, a lazy shot, he hits me. I'm like, oh, this leg above the knee, behind the shoulder, and sneak your ass out, boom. From there, if you do that defense 100% correct, you'll get out of it 100% of the time. Once he lets go, he's gonna let go of that choke, you can finish your shot, you can back up, there's a lot of things you can do. But in and of itself, you'll be out of that choke. You have questions, you have comments, hit us up because we'll get back to you. But for right now, if you didn't know, now you know.